what's going on in Chicago? I said the other day, what the hell is Baby, going on? Baby, you just gave me that look you used to give me when you was a kid. I don't care what it was I had to eat you wanted some. Talking about what's that Uncle Fred I have never had that before. Betty laughed yeah and you would say why you want to try it? She said in a goofy voice. You would say shoe soup. They all laughed. Girl that is why I love you so. I don't care what it is you would say as long as Uncle Fred made it I'd eat it. Girl yo daddy would be pissed. Here it is he couldn't get you to try nothing he made and as soon as I hit the door. You would be the first with your bowl and spoon. Ladies what you're smelling is Fred's famous gumbo stew. Would you all like to try some? Lil Bit was starved yes sir she said with a smile. What about you Miss Lulu? Lulu smiled. Which way is the kitchen? She said joking as usual. Cassie walked them to the kitchen. Eat much as you want we have plenty the cornbread is in the oven he yelled. Fred and Betty sat at the table. She noticed the bills scattered around. Money problems Uncle Fred? She asked. Hell even when you got money you have money problems baby either you got too much or not enough. I can relate to that one she said. Say Fred do you still gamble by any chance? Betty asked with aggression. If you don't mind my asking. I don't mind honestly yeah but not like I used to. Shit I haven't gambled heavy since your pops passed away. I play a little poker with a few older cats here and there but nothing too serious. Last week I did lose $4,100. How she asked. I have reason to believe they cheated me this time around but I'll get them next go round. How much money do they have in those poker games? Well it all depends some days they raise the stakes anywhere from 30 to 50 grand. It just depends on who is in the house. Sometimes we have these Ohio cats come through. As a matter of fact one of the Ohio guys beat me out. I should have robbed his ass. Fred seemed serious he never cracked a smile. I'll do it Betty said. Say what girl? Waiting for an answer. Rob the house. That's my thing and the best part of it is I won't hurt nobody. Fred gave her a look as if she had just lost her mind. How can you say for sure you won't hurt anybody? What if one of them tries to make a move? Well she said different crowd different approach if they pack heat I'll pack heat. You did say a bunch of older men didn't you? That's correct. Well she said I'm sure it's a members only thing correct she asked. That's correct Fred replied. So what would be the reason for bringing a gun to a poker game? Everybody knows everybody. For the ones who don't come with a mutual friend am I correct? Fred laughed as much as he hated to admit it she had a point. Now normally I wouldn't take part in something like this but I must say so far it sound pretty clever. Run it down to me baby he said as he listened closely. Okay Uncle Fred here's the deal you could give me the scoop from the inside. Let me know the activities that are going on. You call me as if you're ordering food I'll go to the restaurant order the food act as if I'm the delivery girl me and my girls come in and cover every angle of the joint then we make our move simple. Simple it was he thought shit she summed it all up in one breath. Fred was all in and just to make sure it went down smooth he would take his pistol along. Okay honey I'm in I'll even bring along my Roscoe just in case someone is packing heat and makes a move I'll shoot them accidentally. As if I was trying to shoot one of the robbers. Damn. Girl yo daddy always said you had heart now I see what he was talking about. Now let's get in the kitchen before they eat all the gumbo. After a couple of hours had passed talking and eating Betty was ready to leave she never stayed in one place for long periods of time. Well Uncle Fred I hate to eat and run but I have a few things to take care of. I understand baby. Betty, Fred, and Cassie. All swap numbers they hugged. Don't be no stranger girl Uncle Fred referring to Betty. I won't I promise if I don't stop by once a week. I will at least call. Fair enough. Fred said with a wide smile walking them to the car giving them all hugs. Sunday I'm cooking a big dinner make sure you all come by. We will they all replied. I'll call you in a couple of days girl he said as he walked away from the car. Okay Uncle Fred I love you. I love you more Gina. She pulled out then smashed off. I love that man he always told me he loved me more. The others were stuffed. Damn that man can cook. Lil Bit replied. I haven't had a good home cooked meal in years. Lulu replied you haven't seen anything yet wait until Sunday.